again to talk about another common tree of Lincoln. This is the ginkgo tree, or the maidenhair tree it's sometimes called. The scientific name is ginkgo biloba, and this tree is super interesting because it's what we call a living fossil. It is the only existent species left in the entire world within its division, so it's a really unique tree. We'll take a look at some of the features up close in just a second so you know how to identify this thing. Take a look at some of the key identifying features for ginkgo biloba or the maidenhair tree. The first is its bark. It's this light tannish gray color. This is a younger tree and as it ages you can see it starts to form these splits or fissures in the bark that form into deeper furrows as the tree ages and you'll see that they're a tannish to darker brown color in those fissures. Another really unique identifying feature about ginkgo is its leaves. They're really unique. They occur in this whirling pattern, meaning that you see them all around every side of the branches. And they're this really unique fan shape. There's really nothing else like it that you'd see growing in Lincoln. So they have this kind of flattened petiole. This piece here is the petiole. It's what connects the leaf to the actual stem. And then the leaf itself is this beautiful fan shape. Another really interesting feature of the ginkgo tree is that some trees are males and some trees are females. So if you see a tree that's producing fruit, it's this globe-shaped or rounded spherical fruit, that's gonna be a female tree. And another feature, again, you can see that nice whirling pattern of the leaves on the twigs. And something really interesting to look out for in the fall is ginkgo leaves turn a really bright, vibrant yellow color and they all fall off of the tree within just a few days, unlike other trees that typically take a week or two to lose all of their leaves. That's all we have on the ginkgo tree. Take a look for these planted all around the city of Lincoln, especially in the downtown area.